behind these doors, the first glimpse of the future of RAF ground attack. A typhoon armed with the weapons that will one day transform its ability to take out targets on the ground. The typhoon's been operational for a number of years now as an air superiority fighter with a limited air-to-ground capability. But the enhancements on this plane change all of that. It's fitted with two Storm Shadow cruise missiles. They can be fired from hundreds of miles away without the need for the plane to enter potentially hostile airspace. This aircraft's also fitted with two Meteor beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles, another long-range capability. It's all part of Typhoon's growing maturity as it becomes the backbone of the RAF. BAE Systems built the plane and is leading the development work. As head of capability delivery, Andy Flynn is running the enhancement programme. We've started testing these now. The storm shadow that you can see behind me, we've already started those flight trials and they'll continue for the for, uh, next uh, year or two. And then the, the meteor that's flown from uh, Typhoon uh, this year. And very importantly and unique to Typhoon, this platform is its ability to move from that ground attack to the air-to-air -air simultaneously. We call it swing roll, so we can fight our way in we're in the air-to-air -air mode and then get that ground-to-attack mode. So we've got really got a, a flexible but multi-role uh, capability all at once for the, for the pilot to work with. Ground attack has long been the domain of Typhoon's older stablemates, the Tornado. But retirement's in sight for the ageing Tonka, by the end of the decade at least. And Typhoon is going to have to take on Tornado capabilities like the Storm Shadow cruise missiles used in Libya. The Typhoon's where we're going. Storm Shadow and Meteor um, enable us to take the, the Typhoon to the next level, really. So the greater the distance between me and the enemy that I'm, I'm trying to shoot at, the less risk there is to me and my platform um, and my formation members. Flight testing these upgrades has already started. For the test pilots, it's a chance to provide real-world feedback to the engineers. All the while managing that element of risk that accompanies any aviation first. Simulations have actually taken place that we've got a lot of confidence in, and as a result of that, you know, yeah, there's that, of course, there's that sort of slight intrepidation, but ultimately, you know, once you put those throttles forward, there's that massive kick in the backside, and you're shifting a considerable amount of uh, hardware airborne uh, and up into the blue yonder. Long range weapons, Storm Shadow and Meteor, are a couple of years away from entering service. <laughs> But the latest Paveway 4 laser-guided bombs are already flying on RAF Typhoons. We're told the 27mm cannon is now cleared for use. When these wing-mounted brimstone missiles follow them into service, that'll enable precision close air support too. And Typhoon will have become a true multi-role platform. Will Inglis, Forces News, Wharton.